Okay, let's recap. Cloudflare around a year and a half ago announced they're moving away from Nginx to their new brand new uh, proxy. And they call it Pingora. They built it from scratch. And we understood that. I covered it around a year and a half ago, uh, talking about the reasons why they moved. And those were valid reasons. Is They find it difficult to extend Nginx because it's in C. They make a lot of mistakes in C because of it's not memory safe. That's one problem, security essentially. And, you know, having memory leaks on the web on the most popular uh, cloud platform is not acceptable because, you know, heart bleed, other things, it's really dangerous. So they want to avoid it. So they, they said, all right, we want to fix that. The other problem is software architecture decisions that Nginx made, such as uh, having each request being served by a process, not a thread. It's a process-based model. So you have this fat uh, process control blocks, the PCBs. Like every process have this data structure that maintains its own virtual memory. And that, when that happens, you're completely isolated, which might be a good thing. Isolation of memory is actually a good thing. But it leads to fragmentation. Because every request is served by a process, this request needs to turn around and talk to a backend, the real origin, right? And it needs a connection to do that. So every process has its own you know view of the universe it's ha it has its own connection pool and every single other process do not share these connection pools and as a result you if you're talking to the same back and you end up executing a lot of handshake ssl you know handshakes and all this to, in a connection establishment for each process and those cannot be shared and this adds delays. So they, they want to address that by moving to multi-threaded. And of course, if you know to move to multi-threaded, you increase the chances of memory safety issues. So they solve that by moving to this language that is called Rust.